Welcome everyone in another Crane Gene tutorial video about C++ basics. This is part 4 and today we're gonna continue last episode which is part 3. So today we are going to um, work a little bit on um, UI system from C++ obviously but we're gonna create action uh, actually UI listener which is in flow graph obviously very very simple you got the simple node and it does everything for you but if you want to do it from C++ well uh, that's a little bit more complicated and I'm gonna show everything in this episode if you haven't watched my previous videos I highly recommend you to go and do that because I'm gonna be referring to the previous video now so um, so you you are you know you know you can uh, you're not gonna get lost okay so um, we got as we created in our previous episode our um our simple white box let's call it and in flash we're gonna open it once again and modify it a little bit we want simple um simple event we want it to uh we want to happen we want this event to happen um when we when we hide our box so fs command uh, exactly as it is in my first video so go and watch it if you don't know what I'm doing now let's call let's call it hide event that's it that's pretty much all we need I'll save it and now I'm gonna publish it cool um, what we gotta do next Obviously, you have to. This is case sensitive, so be careful how you type it. Um, next thing we gotta do, we're gonna go into our uh, C project. We're gonna go to assets, libraries, UI, where our UI element um, that's our own um, old GFX file, so we're gonna just remove it. And, and this is newly published, as you can see the date now, I mean, our. So it just happened right now. So um, that's our new, newly created um, flash file with with this uh, event over here. So you have to convert it once again. If you don't know what I'm doing now, um, I'm telling you once again. Go to my previous video and watch them. They will they reveal everything what I'm doing now. Okay, GFX file has been created. That's all we need. Uh, now we gotta go to our example and we have to add as you can see I already did this before the video started but with a little bit different event I just wanted to check this out so um, now uh, we need to have this event over here originally if you follow my previous video it would look like this but we're gonna just add this event over here if you do not do this then um, it's not gonna be exposed for CryEngine and you're not gonna be able to access this event although there is a way to do so but it takes a little bit more for the computer to work on it I believe so um, that's the best way to do it is just simply create it over here so it's gonna not gonna be looking for it kind of a. so our event is called hide event let's just copy this and paste it over here save it that's it um, now our element is gonna contain the newly created event so we can work on this even later okay now we're going to the solution of our C++ project I'm not gonna be opening in front of you anymore because just follow my previous videos and you're gonna you're gonna just don't ev know everything that you need um, also in this video you I'm gonna show you how to create new files inside of the solution your own C++ files which is cool and make it exposed for the engine because it's not that simple it's not that you are gonna create C++ file and uh, file and everything will be read and everything will be fine no it's not that um, w to in order to cre create our uh, event listener UI event listener you have to create your own cpp file I mean you don't have to have cpp file it's enough to have header file so we're just gonna do this because it's gonna be just small 
if you want something bigger, more complex, it's always good to separate it for the header and C++ file, obviously. Uh, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna create here, right click the player, add new filter. Let's call it uh, UI event listener. Okay, and inside of it, if you right click it, add new item. This is gonna be header file, but what you gotta do here, you're gonna browse because otherwise it's gonna put this file somewhere that you won't find it anymore. I mean, inside of the solution. So you're going to our. This is all we are working on a folder of our project, so you're not gonna be have to looking for it everywhere. Um, okay, we got a uh, code player. Let's create a new folder here. We're gonna call it the same way. It doesn't have to be, but it's just easier. UI uh, event listener fine and we're gonna put this inside of this folder and our file you don't have to have this h over here so we can just delete everything and call it um, th the important thing is it's good to call it the same like the class will be called and I'm not sure if this is necessary but as far as I remember I think it is so let's call it C from the C stands for the class uh, class UI event listener that's all you need uh, obviously remember to highlight the header file now add it as you can see that's our first uh, C++ file over here what we gotta do here we we're gonna be working on UI system so we have to include flash UI and the second thing you gotta do, um, you have to create your class, and we're gonna call class the same like we like we cl um, call file. Blah blah blah. Uh, class CUI event listener public EUI element event listener. That's necessary our class this is gonna contain only one method uh, virtual void on UI event I'm, I have a little help in here so because I don't remember clearly this function so uh, yeah I did it properly now um, UI element be sender constant UI event description event constant uh, SUI argument I need to have the help a little bit okay because I don't remember obviously everything over here so it's good to have this file on your side so write it down I did it before the video so arguments oh, um, description event constant SUI arguments okay and within this method um, documentation in the cry engine shows the wrong thing I mean not wrong wrong but um, for some reasons it doesn't work for me so I'm gonna show you how I do it cry string local that's just a string like a normal string in the C++ right um, we're gonna uh, call it event name equals every time this function will be called as display name um, name of this um, event will be written into this so it, this is gonna hold our event name and if uh, we are starting working on events itself if event name this is this variable equals um, how did they call this event hide event okay hide event then 
do something. Let's just uh, show some mes message in the console, right? Crylog always, as we usually remember. Uh, your event has been called. Okay, cool. Uh, that should show the message in the console, right down the corner if I debug it or in the console. Okay, um, if you have more events, obviously you just make another if event name and and you just gather them over here you know if you have more got more of them that's good to have cpp file so you give some more complicated um, functionality but for now this is gonna be enough for today um now to this event listener is already fine it it's all been good and it's gonna work we just have to register that um, as you remember we put our element we initialize our element in C in player.cpp in post initialize you remember that i made in previous video this flash uh, element i got this here and action and stuff and showing this on the screen at the very beginning of the game so we also want this listener to be to be attached on the very beginning of the game in order to do that we have to grab our file and player UI event listener and it's UI event listener. That's all. Um, what you want to do now? Oh, sorry. Yeah, we included our file, which is this inside in here. After it get injected, we have to create object of this class. So. If you know C++ a little bit, you know how to create objects. Right? CUI event listener. This is our class over here, as you can see. That's it. That's our class, and we use it over here. Whatever you call it, you can call it, you know, my fucking ass listener, whatever. Uh, this is gonna be just simple object, not a pointer. So let's call it event listener. Uh, we don't need any complicated name for it, right? And now we're gonna refer to this. We're gonna attach this to our element p element which is our example element add even listener and now we refer to the event listener and here we're gonna put name of our of, uh, of our element see very important thing is that n from now on every frame uh, and Gene is gonna be checking our element looking for the events and this is something that your CPU is gonna be working with you know so we're gonna leave it like this for now but it's very important if you make some inside of your game obviously and you want to reduce uh, the you know requirements of your game or something or just give a, a little bit of break for your CPU you want this listener to be called and checked only in the needed situations so not from the beginning to the uh, till the end of game but just when just only when you need it there is also a function to remove it element remove even listener and you do the same thing here with the listener so you want to remove it if you don't need this listener anymore, right? So it's not uh, using your CPU. Um, this would work, but it won't. Now I'm going to show you how to add your file because um, it's not going to compile even. You need this file to be exposed for the whole engine. I mean, for the whole solution. You need to go into CMake list file. As you can see, all your files are included here. Bullet, refo, we go got even player over here. You can make your own systems here, which we are gonna make now. Okay. Mm, let's call it set source group. Oh, sorry. Let's put it like this. Remove that. Uh, source group uh, UI system. It doesn't matter how you call it. That's just the way I do it. And we have it in player um, UI event 
listen eh? over here right you have to follow it UI event listener and then we have file called CUI event listener dot h if you have also cpp cpp file you have to include it like this over here you don't need anything between them you just put one and one and one um, in each line okay that should do if i read and everything properly it should do um, now we have to add also source group source group it's gonna be player an important thing is not to use slash like this it goes for two backslashes over here and UI event listener that's all you need and now um, as you can see files and where is the fucking dollar sign okay source group uh, UI system is gonna be somewhere on the bottom. Yeah, UI system. You can see it starts in here, it ends in here, like everything else. Now we have to copy this or write it down if you want, but I'm gonna copy it without. As you can see, anyways, um, you register it in here with everything else. So it goes dollar. You got. As you can see brackets in the end on the beginning in, in the end and that's how you register your file over here that's pretty much it let's see if now if um, if this function is called it's gonna call the event we will see so if we hide it it should show message in the console called your event has been called now try to compile it. I hope I haven't made any mistakes. W every time you add another file into CMake lists, like we did now, it's gonna call on you and say um, the project name has been modified outside the environment. What you have to do? Click Reload Solution. So it's gonna just reload all these files from CMake to make sure everything is uh, loaded properly. Yeah, it's ready. I always do build it again just to see if it's yeah, it's good. Too up to date. So everything is fine. Let's let's run it and see if our um event is called. As you remember, I hide it and open the object on the J button. So right down corner. I hide it now it should sh call the event and show message in the console. That's it. Your event has been called, right? You can see it here. Show it and hide. Your even have your event has been called every time. Okay, cool. <laughs> we know how to use event from C++. That's fucking cool. Um obviously, thank you for all comments and I see there is uh, more and more people coming to my channel. That's very motivating and I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I know I'm helping a lot for the whole community. And in the next video, we're going to cover maybe UI um system uh, variables and that's gonna be the end of the UI system from C++ we're gonna we might after that we might start working on inventory system a little bit but this is gonna contain a lot of parts this is gonna be whole different series It's gonna contain co coding I mean programming in action script and programming in C++ together so that's gonna be a long tutorial but I hope um, I hope you're gonna support me a little bit and give me some ideas in in the comment down below or you know message me or something okay thank you very much and see you in the next video